Coral reefs only compose a tenth of a percent of the ocean floor, about an area equal in size to the area of New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. 92% of coral reefs are in the Indian Ocean or Pacific, while 8% are in the Atlantic or Caribbean. Most are in shallow, warm water, although there are deep water corals and corals in colder water. Why are coral reefs considered so important? Because we live on land, it may be difficult to appreciate the roles that they play. Perhaps it would be easier to appreciate coral reefs by comparing them to trees and forests in terrestrial environments. Consider these images of deforested areas. They possess very little biodiversity and very little biomass of living things. In this area of the ocean floor, which lacks coral reefs, note that there is also very little biodiversity and comparatively little biomass. The trees of a forest allow three-dimensional structures which protect life from the elements and offer a host of habitats and a host of smaller ecosystems. In the same way, the three-dimensional structure of coral reefs, with its heights and its crevices, offer a host of microhabitats protecting life from ocean currents and storms and allowing protection for a variety of different forms of life, including small invertebrates and small larval fish. The forest recycles nutrients and there are many herbivores which feed on forest plants as these nutrients continue to cycle through the food web. Although the ocean water around coral reefs is very nutrient poor, nevertheless, the corals and sponges recycle nutrients and allow for food webs where there are algae which exist in open water and inside sponges and corals and growing over the sponges and corals and herbivores which then feed on this photosynthetic life. In a forest, once herbivores are established, then carnivores can feed on them and higher carnivores can exist higher up in the food chain. In the same way around coral reefs, there are fish which feed on phytoplankton and zooplankton, and then larger fish which feed on smaller fish. And so complex food chains exist around coral reefs that exist to a much lesser extent in areas which lack coral reefs. Many animals require dens on land, or temporary dens where they develop when they're young. In the same way, many marine organisms, many types of fish, require protection in juvenile stages or require dens where they can spend part of the day or night when they are inactive. Comparing coral reefs to a forest made of trees is perhaps not entirely accurate. It would be better to compare them to rainforests because although coral reefs only compose one-tenth of a percent of the ocean floor, they contain about 25% of marine life, including 5,000 fish species. They are the most biodiverse areas in the ocean.